What's up everyone? My name is Antonio Ivanovsky, but you can call me AI. Today we're going to be talking about how to take your resume to the next level when you don't have any relevant job experience in the analytics or data science field. Just two and a half years ago, I was trying to get an internship or an entry level position in analytics. And I was applying on Indeed, LinkedIn, uh, even Craigslist, right? I didn't care, but but nothing, nothing was working and um, my resume wasn't helping. Every job that I was applying to, it seemed like it required either like a PhD or 10 years of work experience. I was like, what kind of a entry level position is this, right? But so when I looked at my resume, I was like, I don't know if, I, if I'm qualified to do this. Now having worked in a couple companies and talking to people in different industries, I realized I had all of the experience for an entry level position. It was just about having the confidence to showcase that in my resume. If you've taken online courses, if you've done university classes and did projects there, if you have Kaggle, GitHub, then you are qualified for an entry level position and don't let anybody discourage you from it. I'm gonna switch to the computer and show you what you can do to take your resume to the next level. All right, so here is one of my first resumes before I had any relevant data analytics experience. Uh, so this is not my address and this email doesn't work anymore. So if you want to talk to me, reach out to me uh, on LinkedIn probably is the best way. Um, a lot of people start their resumes with a summary section, right? But I was like, well, I don't have any experience. What is there to, to summarize, right? So a highly motivated business analytics student with experience in Python and Tableau looking for a job in data analytics. So I have three problems with this. First, everybody says they're highly motivated, right? Second, Python and Tableau experience. But what experience do I have? That needs to show what experience, not just say you do. And then third, it's obvious you're looking for a job in data analytics if you're applying, right? Um, don't waste the recruiter's time. Don't waste the hiring manager's time. Just do everybody a favor to delete this section. But now you're like, well, now all I'm left with is with a very small looking resume. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna fix that. So this is what the final product looked like on the left. And this is what we, what we started with. I brought up the skills from the bottom right to the top. Show what you know. We start with data visualization, right? Tableau, Excel, that's great. But really think deeply, what have you done? Uh, I had a little bit of experience working with Oracle Business Intelligence because I knew R, I had worked with ggplot and I had signed up uh, Microsoft Power BI. I got a little bit of experience and one tip is I'm gonna tell you is if you know Tableau, you know Microsoft Power BI. They're very similar to pick up, right? Um, Python, showcase what you know. I had done some web scraping in classes. I knew scikit-learn, pandas. I work with natural language processing, right? And Seaborn. So you see, I'm, I'm pumping it up a little bit, but that's what you, what you have to do. R, statistical analysis, visualizations, all of that good stuff. Tell them what you did. SQL. Um, also, I, I put my analytics club as a founder. That is very important. That's probably the biggest skill that got me through the doors. People want to see that you take initiative. Um, so I had a friend who he, he's great. And I said, well, what do you what what do you know? What do you do? And he's like, well, I don't know. I have a black belt in karate. And I'm like, wow, well, you better put that on your resume. And he was he was very surprised. But that's like, that's an amazing achievement and you need to showcase that. So if you have something great, if you play the guitar and you know how to do like a hundred songs, put that on your resume. I also put the languages I know, English, Macedonian, Serbian, Bulgarian, you know, they're very similar languages, but just, just put it on there, right? Um, marketing and analytics tools. And also on the weekends, I like to develop Alexa skills. So, so I put that on there, even though, right, I'm not the master in it. I had done work with it and I knew if I needed it for the job, I could, I can learn it. Then the next section um, is the education, right? A lot of people have a, for example, I ran into a lot of people maybe have like a 3.0 overall GPA, but they have like a 3.8 uh, major GPA. 
And they don't showcase that. A lot of people just show this. They're like, oh, no, show both. If you're doing better in one or the other, showcase that. And then I think the most, most important section is, that I'm going to talk about is academic projects. If you're in analytics uh, degree, you have done work. And if you haven't, if you've been four years studying analytics and you haven't done a single project, you need to talk to your professors. Be like, hey, get me some real world experience, basically. And why I say real world is because it's uh, it truly is. Go on Kaggle, find a data set, put it into Python or any tool of your choice and just cre create something. I had done a taxi cancellations project uh, for, for one of my classes. Shout out to Professor Romery. And where we built a machine learning model uh, using Azure to predict taxi cancellations. And then we discovered that people who booked through their phone were 30% more likely to cancel. Well, this was academic. We took through the whole data pipeline for data discovery, data preparation, data cleaning, model building. So it was it was it's great experience and it counts. Uh, I had also worked uh, in another class on an ICU, so emergency. And Professor Mamanov, he's uh, he's been he's been great, giving me a lot of uh, tips. And this is he started our analytics career. Everything we learned in his class was real world experience. Um, we created a model that is able to predict with 85% recall which patients are going to have to stay in the emergency room for an extended period of time. Talk about that. And you see, I gave numbers, right? Showing an employer that you know what recall is uh, or how you brought value to this project, right? Uh, you increased by 30% or 85% recall. All that stuff is great. So make sure, make sure you include that. Work summary comes next, right? There's nothing wrong. You work two jobs, you showcase that. But now it shows, oh, so this resume on the right shows you are a peer advisor and a valet parking attendant looking for a job in analytics. On the les resume on the left, it says, this is a highly skilled analytics person who just happens to work as a peer advisor and a valet parking attendant currently in order to pay uh, pay their bills and gain experience in the real world. So lastly, I think it's very, very important is put your links to account. Make a GitHub and a Kaggle account. If you don't have one of those and you're in analytics, uh, data science, any of those, go and make one. And if you have to, if you have one project to put, that's great because GitHub and knowing how to uh, work with it, how to upload things, and how to um, set notebooks up, that is very valuable experience, and it's gonna be you're gonna need it one day. Show show them your LinkedIn. Make sure you have a good LinkedIn profile. I also was part of a Tableau Public uh, competitions that I that I did on the weekends or in a free time there's something called Monday makeover which I'll link uh, in the in the comments and then you you should you can check it out but right do do things on the weekends um, whenever you have time just one great project is is gonna make a make a big difference and last thing I want to say is whatever project you choose Take one project that you know really well, right? For example, taxi cancellations and know it from A to Z. Know what you did uh, to get the data. Know what challenges you faced. Know what uh, machine learning algorithms you use to build your models. Know what you did to evaluate how you chose your metric because that is going to be very valuable when you do get that interview for you to speak about it. All right, so that's it for today. Hopefully uh, that was helpful and feel free to reach out at any time.